Hello, today I would like to have a look at these precision oscillators. I bought a couple of these guys on eBay. Uh, these are 10 MHz uh, TCXO, which means temperature compensated oscillators. And these are supposed to be quite precision ones. Let's have a look at the specs. So here we are, the specs. I have this model, uh, which is highlighted in yellow. So as we can see, they are rated at plus minus one ppm. For those who don't know, this stands for part per million. Uh, within range of temperatures from zero to 50 degrees C. And they can drift up to plus minus ppm per year. That's called aging, uh, which is pretty good. And uh, they uh, consume about 20 milliamps, 5 volts, and they give out a uh, square wave, 10 megahertz. So for measurements I have this guy, which is Hewlett Packard 5384A frequency counter. A good old counter. I bought it on eBay some time ago, so it's not calibrated. I have no idea how good it is, and that was part of the reason I bought these oscillators. Uh, so have, let's have a look at the specs of this guy. So here are the specs. This model is uh, without TCXO. It means aging less than 3 times 10 to the minus 7 per month. So this 3 times 10 to the minus 7 is 0 0.3 PPO. But this is per month. And those oscillators I bought uh, are rated at plus minus 1 PPM per year. And temperature drift is less than 5 times 10 to the minus 6, which is less than 5 ppm within this temperature range from 0 to 50 degrees C. So clearly those oscillators are more precise than this counter. Here is one of them hooked up. Uh, it's powered by this power supply. It's dual supply. I hooked it up to the channel 2, which is set to 5 volts, and I limited current by 100 milliamps, just in case. The power is off right now. And here is the counter picking up noise. So let me turn on the power. Aha! 10 megahertz and slightly out. So let's see. Uh, 1 ppm would be this decimal place. So according to my counter, this guy is 2 ppm higher. And considering that counter is not calibrated and um, oscillator is promised to be within plus minus one ppm. This is pretty good result. And I already measured the second one as well. Uh, and it was three counts different in this decimal place, which is 0.3 ppm from, from this one. Uh, which is very good. But when I played with them like this on my bench, uh, hooking up one and another, waiting for a while until they stabilize, uh, one of them died. I don't know why this happened, so let's have a look at the scope. So, here's the picture. 
so this is the good one obviously uh, very nice square waves with some ringing but that's not a problem that's probably artifact of my cables and stuff uh, so and let's see what happens with the dead one so let's test the second one the power is off right now let me turn it on Oops. some transition period and then the output disappears so it's high stays high and let me turn it off there is some transition back let's try again oops and disappears again and power off huh interesting so I contacted the seller and um, his policy stated that good on arrival and I already left them positive feedback I was happy and then one later died I still decided to let them know just in case and I also asked if they know of a good way of taking the cover off so I can at least learn something how these guys are built and I got a reply saying no worries we are sending you a replacement and if you happen to learn something by removing the cover then by all means send us some pictures and information so here is the replacement arrived already but I didn't unpack it yet so let's use my trusty leatherman uh, here it is in a nice plastic bag and here is the bottom of it and they all have different serial number or something okay I hooked it up let's turn the power on uh huh no worries 10 megahertz nice square wave so here we are 10 megahertz and again uh, almost 2 ppm higher according to my counter but compared to the previous one just a few counts lower uh, uh, in this decimal place which is uh, tenths of ppm so it's just a few tenths of ppm lower than the previous one which is very very good I'm happy with this so here is the dead one and I was told that maybe I can grind the cover off which I can certainly try with this guy aha uh -huh, nice dremel tool or something like that but I would prefer less violent methods if possible so I will see if I can disassemble this thing gently somehow but I am afraid I don't have time at the moment and let's postpone that to another day so maybe I'll make a follow-up or something so if you found this video useful give it a big thumbs up thank you very much goodbye